get rich Shit that you don't know nothing about, bitch I heard you act all tough Look, we know it's for clout, bitch You better watch your mouth Cause I stay with a stick But I'm not the only one I know that this shit can get lit quick So whatever you with Look, I'm with Time sick If you really wanna start this shit off Clock in This is a pack down service I got the hitters in the cut lurking You ain't gonna catch me slipping at another show I can bet you a burk And I had to make a call Bring the bees out Just to show that we work I had to sit down Had to figure it out Now it's time to put work And look at me lit New fit Every day I know you hurt Look at my cars Look at this ice Look how you work, you little silly. Body hopping ass right. Reach up radio LA. Uh-huh. Though I'm missing you. My strength and my pride Only God may know why Still I will get by Radio LA, man, we are broadcasting live in Baltimore, Maryland, via Los Angeles, California, man. I'm your host, Big Homie Smiles, man. You can follow me on my new Instagram page, man. Instagram, y'all like hate know me a little bit. They disabled my old page. So y'all can follow the main business page. That's treetop underscore radio LA, man. We got a wonderful show today. We got a wonderful guest today. You know, we've been ready. Been ready like we've been ready to elevate, man. Been ready like we've been ready to get to the money, man. Because all I see is green, man. You know, each and every episode, I always love to um, talk about inventors and inventions and give you guys some the more you know facts. That's M O O R E. The more you know, because we are Moors before we are anything else. You know what I'm saying? We are the indigenous of this land and of this world. You know, shout out to Elevate, um, shout out to my boy Visions, his song Elevate, and that's what was playing in the background. Um, the first invention of today we're going to talk about is going to be milk. I know y'all thought I, I know y'all, I know, look, I said milk. We invented milk. George Washington Carver, the day he invented it was the early 1900s, Black Pioneers, of the science and inventions, Lewis Harbor, 1970, the man who overcame Elliot, 1970. Although a good cow will give you 6,000 quarts of milk a year, the people of Belgium's Congo were without cows. Dr. Carver extracted usable milk from peanuts, which saved thousands of lives in that country. So Dr. Dr. George Washington Carver not only invented milk, he invented a healthier way of drinking milk because he extracted the milk from peanuts. Because the Congo didn't have cows to get the peanuts. You know what I'm saying? He had to, they had, thank you. Shout out to my audience in the background. I appreciate you guys. He had to actually extract milk from peanuts. I don't know how he did that, but God did. And that's why he put the, the line light in his head. That's why he said, Dr. Carver, today, 
you gonna make some milk. You're not gonna use cows because cows drinking milk from the cows is not healthy, Dr. Carver. I'm gonna give you a different type of learning. I want you to show these people how to make milk out of peanuts. And that's why we got cashew milk. And that's why we got I cashew milk, milk, almond milk. Those are all the healthier milks. For those of you who are on the healthier side of living and who believe in you know treating your temple right, you have all type of alternatives to milk because humans are actually not supposed to drink cow milk. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. So the next one that we have is mining. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with mining, hold fast, hold your horses. I'm going to get into it. So mining, the contributors, Africa, because you know everything come from the motherland. Shout out to the motherland, Wakanda forever. You know what I'm saying? Vibranium all up and through this joint. You feel me? The date was about 43,000 BC. Again, I believe that was before Christ. I ain't even get to say nothing, man. you pressing the, the button. I ain't even say nothing. I believe that was before. That's 43,000 before Christ. BC is before Christ. I know what I'm talking about. She tripped over there. The references was Mother Wit, Estelle Rise, The Century, CO, 1930, NY Blacks and Science, H. Carwell, 1977. The mining techniques invented by South Africans produce more coil, which brings to our lives many derivatives, fertilizers, explosives. Hold up. Did we say fertilizer and explosive? Yes, we said fertilizer and explosive. Because we invented mining, we're able to fertilize and create explosives that the, you know, the colonizers already took and, and made it their own. We got fertilizer, explosives, food, preservatives, disinfectants, perfume, medicine, gasoline, and varnish, to name a few. I'm just saying, due to these mining techniques of my African brothers, brethren, and sisters out there, we're able to um, industrialize the entire nation, entire world, because of this melanin, because of the earth. In that tone. So if anybody is out there telling you your skin is wrong, chuck the deuces out of them. They don't know. God was black. His skin was of bronze. Hair of wool. All right. Now the last invention on my black inventors, because I love this book. It's a wonderful book. If you don't know, now you know. 1001 Black Inventions. I need you guys to look pinpoints and company up and holler at them. Give them some good reviews. Tell them you heard about them on TTRLA. You feel me? The last invention is the mop. Blue face, baby. You know, he be all mobbing him. He, nigga even got a chain of the mop. You know why he got that mop? Because a black man created it. So shout out to Blue Face for wearing the mop. You ain't even know black man created that joint. That's why you got it on. The contributor is Thomas W. Stewart. The date is June 13, 1893. The patent is number 49942. The mop made cleaning floors an easier chore. I already knew this was a black invention because we always coming up with ways to make life a little bit easier. We got the caller ID, easier way to avoid phone calls, okay? Easier way to avoid the fuck out of people. We got an iron, easier way to not be wrinkled. You know, you got the white people rock around, wrinkle this shit and shit, no creases in their pants. Fuck no, we gonna make it easy to look sharp. Now we got the mop, easier way to clean up the spills, you feel me? Even a spill in your life, you can mop it on up that was a metaphor y'all ain't catch that now the mop made cleaning floors an easier chore before the mop people scrubbed floors laboriously on their hands and knees and you know who was doing that on their hands and knees it wasn't the white folks i can tell you that it was with scrub brushes and rags okay so they gave us a rag a scrub brush you clean the floors we on the floor singing our song one day is gonna be an invention that's going to work for us and make it easier to clean. Then voila, bow, the mop invented by Thomas W. Stewart. Stewart's invention, which was a cloth connected to a stick handle and held in place by a metal clasp, has not been significantly improved upon since his creation. So now, do y'all know when he invented the mop? In 1893. And the mop's invention and the style has not changed, okay? It's not changed. So that was the perfect invention for the world, for the nation. Shout out to my man, Thomas M. Stewart. You know what I'm saying? We got a wonderful show and a wonderful um, guest coming in. is the pod father himself, Mr. Ben Reddy. You know what I'm saying? He'll be gracing 
um, my show as my co-host. When he comes in, you know, I got the new um, a new house. Uh, I'm in a mansion. I don't know if y'all know, for all my listeners that don't know, you know what I'm saying, I moved on up. And it was thanks to Townhouse Media Platform, you know what I'm saying? I was once, you know what I'm saying, in the Jets. And now I got the uh, the mansion, you know what I'm saying? We got the mansion as well as, you know, we got a little knock. If we come in, I'm going to hear a knock at the door. Did y'all hear that knock? That, that Was that him? Manager, was that was that Ben? Okay, he's he he'll be here he'll be here in about ten minutes. When y'all hear that knock, y'all know my man is on the way. But before we get into it, you always you already know I always like to um, give out a purpose and give you guys a title of my show. Today's title is More Life, right? And I would like to dedicate this episode to Peyton PJ Twenty One Evans and Ramirez Meatball Williams. The purpose of this episode is to emphasize the value of living, the value of life. Understand that there is more to life than what you are born into, right? Some people feel like based on their circumstances, this is all, this is my life. Some people are not born in the best circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Some people are are, are born in situations where you, maybe you or I, you or I, you know, who may not have had to deal with such trauma growing up, we wouldn't be able to deal with it. But for somebody, they feel like, damn, this is, this is it. This is it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the purpose of this episode is to emphasize the value of living. Understand that there is more to life than what you were born into. I want my audience to take away. I want my audience to take away from the episode that we create our universe, good or bad. We manifest life, but we also have to understand death is guaranteed. I believe that in order to know oneself, you have to be with yourself. You have to be able to sit inside your own chaos. You feel me? Some people aren't aren't able to sit inside their own chaos. Um, You have to be able to work out your own issues and heal yourself because no one is going to heal you other than you. I want my audience to understand everyone needs a safe space and a safe place where they can feel comfortable to lay their burdens down. And for me, I don't look to, you know, the world i i look to god and my significant other you know to to go to my safe place when i'm when i'm in need and i and i have things that is going on with me um i want you guys to know too as well if you are out there listening in spotify youtube world that um help is available and um if you are dealing with anything we i do have a national suicide (coughs) prevention number that i'm gonna put on um at the end of the show and the number is 1-800-273-8255 so i have i think i okay i think my man is at the door we got my man ben ready coming in to the to the studio ben ready what it yo, do how yo, you doing yo 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 i didn't even know you could you could supersede my mute and put on your mute i didn't, i thought you had me on mute yeah i muted you then you came oh back. see you muted me see now you came back unmuted. You see, you still the God Pod Father. How you doing, brother? All right. Can now, you see? You, can you see me? Oh damn! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> see, you're making me nervous, man. It's making me nervous. Uh, for for those of you who um, are just tuning in, I have the Pod Father himself, my man Ben Ready. Um, he gave me an opportunity to uh, spread my wings out in the podcast world and i have him as a, a guest on my show instead of behind the ones and twos you know what i'm saying so how does it feel to look, be look a, a guest man look at that look look how uh how, how life is right life is great do you hear the audience do you hear the, the audience clapping for us now right here shout out shout out to the audience shout out to my audience you know what i'm saying um now for today my title ben is like more life right uh-huh. And I chose more life because, you know, recently um, I have um, had a couple people that I've known um, pass away either due to gun violence or due to, you know, self-inflicted um, wounds mm. of their own where they had they took their own life. And it made me want to, like, take a step back and, like, <laughs> ask myself, what is life? You know what I'm saying? What what is life for me? What what does it mean to live? Because sometimes people can be living 
in the human form but be dead on the inside so i wanted to ask you um why it, do you feel like speaking on suicide is such a secretive topic <clears throat> um i think probably because uh people are em- uh, embarrassed embarrassed by it um uh, I mean, you really don't know how to uh, talk to so a lot of people don't know how to talk to people that's going through things because they, right. you know, they still dealing with things themselves. Right. You know, so you can't really help somebody that's you, if you need help as well. You know, so right. But and when you're thinking about um, suicide, it, you have you think about mental health issues, and I think like in the black community in the black and brown community i think i don't think like you know talking about emotions is something that we try to push as much as i would i would say like maybe uh you know white people and they do with trying to get their children you know um help if they needed to go to you know a psychologist or something like that it's just like with us in our community, even we see it within the industry, you know what I'm saying? We have a lot of industry artists who um, succumb to suicide, you know what I'm saying? They may have been giving out um, warning signals or may have been even giving out signs to their friends and, and family members like, hey, I'm hurting. But it's like we, we, we tell people like, hey, you'll get through it or, you know, it's it's got to be. It's, it maybe it's not that bad, you know. You you want to kill yourself, or maybe they they not really thinking about wanting to go through it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, suicide is just like such a secretive topic. You know, there's a lot of people out here, like I was saying, that's living inside, that's living but dead inside. You know what I'm saying? Having trauma, I feel like as a child can really affect you as an adult. You know, and and it really play an effect on like I guess how you move about as a an adult and with you know just different life situations how you handle life situations and things of that nature uh you know like i said we we never get help like uh well i'm, I'm an 80s baby we grew up a little bit different you yeah know? yeah um, I'm, a, I'm an 80s but i grew up in the 90s you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah 80 i'm an 80s baby and a 90s kid oh. so so like um um you you have it to where it, you grow up it's like uh you can't show you as a as a as a young boy you can't show emotions because then you uh quote unquote acting like a girl or right um, or you being sissified and shit yeah you know yeah yeah back then you know that 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 was big you know and and you those type of things you you just bottle them up you try and talk to somebody you bottle them up you know no it's nothing, you know. You either uh, you complaining or you you whining or right. You know, one of the, one of those things. Um, and well, yeah, you, you, you end up you end up bottling all that up, man. And and you know, you go through life and you bottle up stuff. Sometimes they you go through life, you quote unquote become the weirdo and right X Y Z. And, and I I, <clears throat> I done been to a a dark place, but never have I once was like uh you know i'm i'm a i'm going to do that you know it it, yeah. it sucks that somebody would get to that point right when there's a lot of there's for real a lot of help out here you know what yeah. i'm saying and they like i said some some people are, are are embarrassed to have that talk so a lot yeah. of people are embarrassed to have like a real talk and be like a hundred percent with you with, know, with, with somebody yeah. with uh, even with they self like you said you know yeah and, and and I think that I found that interesting that you were speaking about, you know, how guys and, and I'm not just to just to make this a black thing, but I mean, just guys in general are just told not to speak about, you know, emotions and things like that. And in my research, because I've had um, a close relative of mine um, commit suicide recently, you know, I, I, I wanted to like dive in because I didn't think something like that would be so close to home. You know what I'm saying? And I, in my research, I've noticed that there, in this, within the past, you know, like five years, there's been an increase in men suicide rates. You know what I'm saying? And so, with you uh, mentioning, like, you know, growing up, you know, you can't really show emotion and, you know, or talk about your feelings. Like, it's like, damn. So how do we 
you know, help with mental health. With people are being told you can't really talk about things that are really bothering you, or if you talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really, you know. It's it's like no, nothing. It, it fall, well, uh, it falls on uh, deaf ears. Yeah, it's like it's you know like so. Yeah. It, it you know, <clears throat> and like I said, man, you know, I I don't know how it was for women, you know, maybe, but you know, that was one of the perks of growing up being a girl back then right. was you were able to express yourself or whatnot, and maybe maybe that's why for women. Maybe that's why they quote unquote mature faster or something. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe because they're able to really express themselves, and we, uh, the boys had to act like I don't know, little boys like, for right, longer, like so. shit don't, like shit don't, you know, happen, and it's just, you know, yeah. tough enough. Don't even, you know, make no issue about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And and the reason why, like, I'm really focusing on this, man, is because like. I want people out there to understand and know that they are like not in this alone. Like it's for, for people out there that are, you know, maybe tap tuning in live. Like you got to understand that. Yes. You may go through, you know, like issues you may have, maybe, you know, re relationship issues, marital issues, relationship um, issues with your kids, with your parents, it's going to be okay. You have to realize that it is people, around you that love and care for you but in that moment like when i said in the beginning you have to be able to sit inside your chaos you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you have to be able to like talk those issues out maybe within yourself first and and tell yourself that you you wasn't the issue on why those things happened or it wasn't your fault and then try to move forward because i feel like as a culture we are like we we have a lot of trauma as a culture and as a black culture i'm just specifically talking to us right now as a culture as a as a black nation we are traumatized by so many things that we have had happen to our you know our generations our family members so many things that we've seen and people are not really talking about you know how they're feeling you know what i'm saying because when people take their lives, it has a harmful effect on individuals, it has a harmful effect on families. You know what I'm saying? That's one person that's no longer here that could contribute to the world. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. my my thing is I want to help try to help reduce, you know what I'm saying, Pre or or, I, or have prevention. I think in order to show, you know, you can tell people like, you know, we hear you have to like for people that's really in those dark you know places like you really have to show them like you hey, gotta show them yeah like and you have to you have to not stop trying you know right and some people you know are, are deeper in it than others and you really have to show it you know because some people a, a lot of people I, a lot of people aren't aren't don't even know how to love right oh some people don't even know, how to, don't know how to love, love. right or, or, you know right. accept love so like you, some people you really have to you, you have know, to show through to intention live. yeah you know and, and maybe you know you know it start with depression you start seeing stuff different hey you know step in you know and you know hopefully it won't get to a place where it do get to a uh uh you know suicide um I yeah. had uh uh my 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 godmother's nephew um you know mm -hmm. and you know I you know I wasn't I wasn't around you mm -hmm. know but just to know man like somebody that was full of life like that like yeah it can it can happen so you you really it it, it creep up on you too because yeah. certain people you know. The depression and things can can come out of nowhere. And you're like, right. damn, it, it just it just happens. You know, I shit went through it as of recent. You know, the reason why, right. you know, I, I I um you know had to give you the, the blessings because I you yeah. know I didn't want to hold 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 you back. You know, so like you know it, it sometimes you really just have to step back and 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 regroup and people are showing you they love you you know you have to for the person that's going through it they have to also be willing to accept and want to 
right. get better and, and change too. You right. Know, and know that it is something better afterwards. You know right. what I'm saying? A- after this, you know. Yeah, because you can't force a change. I mean, yeah. you know, you can't force a change on nobody. And you, like you said, you know, you, you got to kind of step back. And it can happen to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like you uh, you had told us that, you know, you just needed to be by yourself and stuff like that. And I catch it. I, I sometimes even, you know, catch myself even, you know, getting the spells of, you know, being down on myself or, you know, or being depressed and things like that. And I think sometimes it may can come from uh, maybe overthinking because a lot of times when you're, a, I, I feel like when you're smart, when you're extremely intelligent, you overthink a lot of situations and you put a, together a lot of things that may not be the best for your mental health. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but I think sometimes we, uh, you yourself as a person, not you, but I'm talk, speaking like Just in general. general. Yeah. yeah, like we can we can manifest that that depression within ourselves because we're thinking a lot. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes I feel like maybe if we are having the having the right things in front of us, our eyes, or we're talking to the right people, or we're listening to the right thing, or we're exercising or eating the right things, then you know that entail makes you feel better because. I mean, I listened to this this guy, he's like a health expert, and he was like, how can we expect to live if we're eating dead things? Mm. And that's what I was going to say. Look, when, when you was talking about uh, the milk, I was listening while you yeah. talking about milk. I'm like, wait. <clears throat> so so, so <laughs> since, the begin- since the beginning of time, right? you know, I, I know it's been kind of, it's been kind of uh, 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 sad, but since the beginning of time, men been hunting animals and shit to eat right right okay so you you said we are not supposed to drink milk we're not because it's from an animal right it's from an animal but we can drink milk from a a human which makes us cannibals right we can drink milk wait a minute oh would that make us me up would that make us cannibals you just fucked me up. You said so we can drink milk from a human, so that makes us cannibals. W- w- wouldn't that? Wouldn't that? No, put but us- cannibal. A cannibal is a person that eats meat, right? Or it eats humans. Yeah, you 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 a human who eats. You a human meat. eater. Yeah, w- wouldn't that fall under that category? So are we? Are we? Yes. But we're drinking as as ba- as babies. We're yes. drinking our mom's titty. We're not eating it. <laughs> no, but you're still you're still drinking something that comes from. A human, a, a, a human, but a you're human digesting. Is not really you're, an animal, is it? Uh, yeah. We're animals. Uh, what, what, what kind of species are? What kind of species are? We are a species. We're a certain type of species. We are. Um, is it uh, <laughs> Homo sapiens? Damn it! Yeah, we're Homo sapiens. Yeah. Mammals. We're mammals. There you go, mammals. There mammals. you go. See. Block we're like thigh. dolphins. We're like dolphins or something. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna say dolphins. We're like dolphins. How are we like dolphins? Because dolphins manifest energy, and they and they feel oh, like echo, like echo the dolphin. Like echo. <laughs> what the? F- Yo, hey, pause, pause on every sound that you just made of that. Yo, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't, I don't, yo, I don't. That was see, my dolphin see, noise. That's the dolphin no, that, noise. That, that's what happened from from that breast milk. That cannibal, that cannibalism <laughs> is kicking in. That nigga said, <laughs> what, "What the fuck?" Yo, that's that's sick, <laughs> sick dolphin. I was trying to make the dolphin noise, but no, we're mammals. So you said, does that make us um, cannibals? Can, yeah, would that make us cannibals? Because we're eating something that comes from. But we're not eating our mom's breast bin. Why we're digesting. We we're digesting the milk. We're not digesting. We're digesting the milk. And if you digest anything that comes from the human anatomy, right? That would, yeah. I think that would make you a, a cannibal? cannibal. Yeah, cannibal. No, Ben, we're not cannibals. It's a bunch of cannibals in the porn industry. It's a bunch of cannibal and meat eaters. No, it's a bunch of cannibals in the porn industry. <laughs> It's a bunch of yeah, animals. yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a bunch, bunch of meat eaters in the kitchen. Yeah, I was, I was talking about other fluids that come from the body. 
Oh but. man, the secretions of the semen. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, but I think we are. Um, we we possibly may be cannibals. But what I was gonna say that that whole cannibal thing made me lose uh, track of my thought. <laughs> I forgot the fuck I was saying. Oh, wait, too. I even wrote it down in my notes. Like, man, let Damn me it. remember this. Oh, it's about the milk. We were talking about the milk. Yeah, the milk and secretions. And how, and the how secretions of the uh, cow. The secretions of the cow, we're not supposed to be drinking that. Anything <laughs> secreting out of a cow, you're not supposed to be drinking it, okay? Anything secreting out of anything. Anything secreting out. Well, I mean, silky okay. Secre- this is a- Stay away from the silky secretions. Stay away, stay away from the silky secretions. <laughs> unless, you, unless you're eating an apple pie below. <laughs> this regard, that's what, what did, I, what did I, you I say? Apple pie. What did you say after that? I said below. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Meaning Coke and apple pie. Coke and apple pie, that's the best fucking meal ever. <laughs> oh, shit. Right now. <laughs> you lost it. Like that, like that. I've lost it completely. You lost after it. Leaving, after wait, wait, wait. I just thought about it. Hold on. You, you, not, are you not in the hometown no more. Are you still in the hometown or you, you out? You out the hometown? I'm, I'm in, uh, no, I'm still in the hometown. I'm okay, still okay, in the hometown. okay, okay, okay. How about I say, I say, hold on. And that you know other, I go, you know, I go, I ain't going to go nowhere. I was out there visiting for a set. Oh, okay. I was like, you know, oh, you don't went out there and had some apple pie and, and Coke, huh? And now, Coke, now, 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 it's, now it's the I breakfast of champions. Goddamn sniper gang. Fuck that. <laughs> Shout no, out to okay. y'all. I, I, I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm cool with rappers. <laughs> Come in peace with rappers, Paul. I was just saying, we don't do Coke. That's all I was saying. Okay, you gotta watch. Coke. You gotta watch them. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't believe in doing the the coke or the lines. Hey, hey, she she she's on uh, TTRLA now, y'all. I'm on TTRLA. <laughs> we can't we can't do no, no coke <laughs> sniffing over here. We're it, it was it was, it was her. It wasn't me. Drug free programming. Please don't kick us off. Okay, <laughs> Ben brought it up. Ben, ben at Townhouse Media brought it up. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. Y'all see what channel this shit on? This is Y'all know it. <laughs> Fuck this. We going on a break. So no. <laughs> we're going on a break. No, but yes, we're not supposed to be drinking milk. And um, we're supposed to be, uh, you know, eating Drinking thing. nut milk. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. As soon as you said that, I don't know why. As soon as you said they made that comment, it brought back what I was thinking about. The nut milk. No, no, no. Not nut milk. But. How can we live if we're eating dead things? How you expect to live if you eating dead? If you eating anything that's dying, you have to be eating things that are living, which means green, greens. You know what I'm saying? Chickens, homemade chickens. You gotta. You can't. You, can't you gotta grow chicken. the you chickens yourself. You can't. You can't if grow. You chickens? can't eat. If you can't eat anything dead, you have to kill the chicken to eat it. Unless you have to you kill eat- the chicken. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you have to wring the neck. It's a certain way you're supposed to kill it. You wring the no, neck, you don't chop the head off. No, so it, so if you wring the neck, you can eat. You can eat it. If you wring the neck, it's a less violent way of him dying. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is, you gotta look, be like this. Wait, yo, the sound effects today is crazy. Look, this is what I'm saying. You say you're, you're how are you supposed to live if you're eating dead things. Yes. Okay, now. You have to kill the chicken to eat it, right? You have to kill the chicken to eat it? So what yeah. are you eating that's really live? What is that? That's some guy screaming. I don't know. He heard you say, what are you eating? That shit sounds like, so, <laughs> sound like a cutscene from the Logo channel. Watching this sick nasty shit. Man, I ain't watching that shit, man. That shit sound crazy, the motherfucker. That shit sound like fuck the brokens of the back mountain. <laughs> the brokens of the back mountain. <laughs> 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 that's that, that. 
My man is getting piped <laughs> that, from the second. From yo, the that, second. That second, the that second one is horrible. Back. That second one is very horrible. Wait, do, do the sound. Wait, oh my God, that's wait, awful. Ho, ho, wait, pause. Hold it closer to the man. mic. Pause. Hold it closer to the mic. Wait a minute. Now that you got that awful noise in my head. <laughs> See, that last one is... <laughs> it sounds like he's tearing his ass up. Pause. Ah! It's like, no. Pause. I'm sorry. We just went left. <laughs> this is a dedicated... I'm sorry, Ben. See how you got me going left? I apologize. Shout out to everybody in the world. Shout, shout out There's to There's no the... hate over here, okay? No hate. Let's go back to what we were talking about. P- yeah. Mental health. Because we... I was oh, okay. To... I thought you were going back to the milk again. Oh, the milk? Which what milk? A... Well, not how you supposed to live if yes, you eat okay. dead things. Ooh, give me back, give me back. Okay, so how you gonna live mm-hmm. if you eating things dead? How you gonna live? How you gonna live? Yeah. If you expecting to eat things that are dead, I'm trying to give the masses a message. Okay. Now tell me, what can you eat that's live, that's living? What things that you can eat that are living that yes. can increase better living and better mental number one collard greens those are living things collard greens Ooh. so you those can't are cook. living things collard if you greens. cook them if you cook them you kill them right and you cook all you those. don't kill greens you kill all, you all, the, never nutrients. Die. You kill all the nutrients all right you don't kill nutrients you, you boil them mm. you're not frying them you're boiling so you're keeping the nutrients in the pot and what you put in there Okay, another that, thing you're that bacon put, fat and it don't matter. No, no bacon fat, no bacon fat, no bacon fat. We're gonna use turkey neck. Okay, get the neck of the turkey. The neck of the turkey, because we gotta wring the neck anyway. This, remember I said that's the least yeah, that's the way. chicken though. You gonna wring the turkey and the chicken? Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's go to commercial break. Commercial break. Let's go to commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> Say man, it's Street Top Radio LA. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I got confused with the ass. <laughs> I got confused with the fucking animals. Okay, so you don't ring turkeys. You just take their necks. You cut the necks of the turkeys. Okay. So you put the turkey necks in the grain. <laughs> Boy, I'm sweating over here. What is this? This was brought, sponsored by Telemundo. Arachaca. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> wait okay wait so why is it okay confused. why is it okay to just take the neck from the turkey <laughs> and not the- <laughs> because turkeys don't need they necks what you what a turkey need they neck for why do turkeys need they neck? <laughs> turkey <laughs> turkeys don't need they necks wait. The chickens do. <laughs> yo I'm, I'm in tears look wait <laughs> Look, that wait, is, this wait. Is my, this is my reasoning, Ben. Because <laughs> a turkey got more neck than a chicken, so a chicken, yeah. with, a chicken shouldn't need their neck because they ain't got much left. No, chickens got breast. Turkeys That's, got breast. Turkey breast? Yeah, turkey I've breast. Ain't no turkey breast. That's what you eat from the turkey at Thanksgiving. Whoa. Damn. I'm being mind blown today. Damn, more life. See? Look how we living. I but it's dead, so it's dead, so you not you you can't live if you eat it. Yeah. But you we can... bake the turkey. We bake the turkey. We don't fry it. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, so if you bake it, you're keeping the nutrients. Got so it. it's still living. That's why that's why I bake my uh my salmon. You see? Yeah. Don't fry that shit. It's whole, you. It's not good for your body. Don't fry the salmon. Bake it. And another thing, you ask me more things. Let me give you more things that are live. Bananas. Bananas are living. You should eat a lot of bananas. Chop them up. Chop them uh, up first, fellas. Fellas, chop them fellas, up. Fellas, fellas, and shake up, shake the chopped slices in your hand like this, and then pop them mm. in your mouth. Yeah, that 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 didn't go well. That didn't go well together. That didn't go well. Shake nah. the slices yeah, and then just pop it in your mouth. Then, yeah, 
Oh, because of the motion like this? Yeah, and then the pop. Oh, yeah, man. And it's, then cra- the pop. It's, cra- it's crazy out here. You from the East. You know how it go. You know how it go out here. It's from the East. Damn, son. I can't even make no visuals. Y'all East Coast niggas did that. Yeah, because you can't even say, uh, how dogs is glizzies. Now, why is Broccolini. it? Broccolini. Do- okay, go ahead. What? Broccolini Bro- is alive. Oh, okay. But I thought broccoli was fake. Oh, you're right. Broccoli is fake. Broccolini is fake too. Broccolini is fake too, because broccolini is a a faker version of the broccoli. So the only thing real is. See, look how I just broccoli. Ooh, look at that. Thank you. Wait, it, what, what is broccolini? Broccolini. Okay, I'm gonna break it down to you. Break because hold up, wait, but let me go back into my mode. How okay. can you expect to live if you're eating dead things? If broccolini is a faker version of a broccoli, how can you be healthy? Oh, drop let the me, bob. Let me drop see what a let me see what a broccolini is. Broccolini, I, I look like trash asparagus. I know what broccolini is. Broccolinis look like the asparagus. Asparagus is fake, boo. Is it? I'm sorry to tell you. Asparagus. Asparagus is fake. We shouldn't be eating it. That's why I pee stink when we drink when we eat it. Are you serious? Yeah, because it's 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 um it's man made. So what is real? What vegetables are real? Oh, oh that's no vegetables of no vegetables are real other than peas. You lying? You I don't, that don't even that don't even look. Are you sure? Greens are real. No real. green. Oh, hey. I said collard greens. Collard. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the real greens. Cabbage. I, Dr. Sabi was my uh, grandfather. Okay. Cabbage. Huh? Cabbage? Cabbage? And Dr. Savi said the next. Ca- cabbage is real, He's okay? Look cabbage is real. Peas are real. Collard greens are real. Spinach? Spinach is real. Corn is real. Tomatoes are real. They're actually a fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. So for those of you who didn't know that, tomatoes are a fruit. So basically, you just need to be eating leaf. We just need to be eating greens and turkey next. Don't eat no eggs that aren't brown. Because they had a harder way of living. They got, they got, they, the chickens were, were um, done badly. So I don't need you guys to eat chick, um, white eggs. Only eat brown eggs. All right. They come from brown chickens, which are black people. Okay. Drop so, the bomb. <laughs> Okay, so my next question, Ben. My next question. What is a good way that we can counteract suicide? Outside of healthy living and healing ourselves, what's some other ways we can help? We can give people advice. I mean, some some different things. I would say being a good listener, because sometimes people don't know how to listen. You know how when you tell somebody a problem, and they always try to relate your problem to one of their problems and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please look. Please listen. Shut up and listen, man. Yeah, listen. Please you try to tell the niggas that what's what's up with you, man? I broke my foot, man. I went. Yeah, I just shut just shut up. Shut up and listen. Yeah. You know, uh, just let that person speak. Um, right. <clears throat> but uh, uh, most definitely therapy. Um, therapy, okay. I think you have to be around people. That person has to be around people that that really uh, that really mess with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, <clears throat> love. You have to show love. I, yeah. I'm gonna put that uh, on the uh, list. A uh, 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 hella hellified like ex. A crazy amount of love, like buku amount, like it could, could because when he, when they in that that dark place, man, they they need all of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Hella love and be loved too. I want to throw that out there for my people. You have yeah. to be loved. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's a lot of people around here thinking they 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 love, but they not. You're evil. Don't be evil. Be love. You gotta treat people nicely. And I'm working on because I've read. From my, my 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 partner, she said I'm a. Sometimes I could be a little mean, cause I be trying. I be talking about people, I, and so I I try to not do that. I'm not trying that, cause sometimes I be seeing people wearing weird shit, and so I want to take my phone out and record. But I could be on the other end of that recording, so I have to I have to stop. 
you I gotta to think nice. too. Like, you 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 want to stop and record it, and not not to memorize it, but you're stopping to record it to sit and post it and talk shit about it. Like right, you know, right. You be careful with that. Yeah, I know. I gotta be careful with that, especially someone who has themselves been in, in uh, situations where. I haven't had the best of luck, and so I wouldn't. I have to stop, you know, doing those type of things, and I have to uh, work on being a better version of myself. And you know for, what I'm those, for those who have somebody that's going through, you got to be patient with them too. Yeah, you know, you got to be patient, and the patience is key. Let's let's say that one again. You got to have patience, right? Because when you're dealing with with people and they have um, their own things that they're going through. You cannot expect them to just be willing to give out all the information and and be um, tell you everything and lay everything on the line. You have to, you know, be patient. You have to allow them to work through that stuff and, and want to give you stuff. Can't be a taker. Don't be an energy taker, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Don't be an energy taker. I would say that. That's how we can counteract yeah, suicide that, and, that, and mental health. That right there, that's, that's for real because... Yeah, you could, you know, somebody going through something and, and you adding to it. That's never. That's, that's never, never good. good. Yeah. Don't add to people's shit, man. And for the people that is going through stuff, because I've been, I, me and Ben, we've been through stuff. We go through stuff. We're currently in shit, but we knee, working it out. Knee deep. Knee, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I take my have. shoes off and it's still shit. God damn. <laughs> I am, but 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 not, that's to say that we are going to get through it. You know why? Because we have the favor of God, and we have the favor of the applause, and we also have each other and our family members of those who love each other, and also people out there who are dealing with depression, different dealing with mental illness, dealing with different, you know, fucked up people in your life. I would like to say this. You are more than enough. Okay. You are great. You were born with a purpose. You're amazing. You're beautiful. Your skin is great. Your body is great. Everything about you is wonderful. Don't you let anybody in the world, people that is listening to the sounds of my voice, don't you let anybody in this world make you feel less than because they're shitty. You know, because they're a piece of work. You know, I'm trying to work on these curse words. It's so hard saying alternative words outside of cussing. But what I have French toes. What the French? Don't you let these flubber fluckers? Don't you let? <clears throat> don't you let oh. these flubber flickers you say anything? You lint liquor. You lint li queen. <laughs> you remember that commercial? You lint liquor. <laughs> Cootie queen, you fucking oh, yep, there you go. You. <laughs> even, even freaking, freaking is too close. Like you can't freaking even say is freaking. Too close. I used to get in trouble for saying freaking when I was young. I used to try to say because I I wanted to say fucking. Yeah. But freaking is like oh, you get in my freaking nerves. My mother be like, what you say? Uh, yeah, I know you, you ain't cursing. Say it. I, I know uh, you ain't cursing. I used to do that a lot with the because I knew some of the curse words from uh. That they'll beep out because I knew how to rhyme at a young age. So oh, like, yeah. I'll say something that rhymed with it. Like, instead of <laughs> bitches, I'll say dishes or something. Oh, real quick. Like, beaches. <laughs> be like, hey, I'm going to the beach. Hey, look at that beach right there. What you nah, said? Be beach. beach was too close. Beach, beach was, was too close. close? Yeah. Oh. It was too close. You, you, my mom reached back and bye out. You know bye out. I mean? Smack the fuck out you. Oh, yeah. man. Smack the French toast out you. Uh, I don't like that one. It, it, like it, it kind of talk. Nah, because it's too close to me being a big dude. <laughs> nah, but I'll fuck it. <laughs> Everybody you know loves to eat, nigga. And it's okay. If you love to yeah. eat, you love nah, to I'm eat. No, I'm clowning. I'm clowning. I'm just nah, making nah, jokes. Nah, 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 nah. I'm making jokes. You know, we got to bounce the jokes back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, there go another one. See? There go. Oh, I'm bounce traumatized. The jokes like, back. bounce. Like, you got to. You bounce know, look, back. this Man, is what I you got to do. Say bounce back. That's look, the big niggas, the big niggas that the 80s baby slash 90s kid. Mm hmm. You gotta go watch those movies, man. They used to dog out the big, the big uh, uh, characters on there. The big man. characters used to get dogged yeah. out. And they and motherfuckers used to bring that shit straight from the movies, straight to the school. Oh yeah, and used to and used to fuck you up. Nah, I had nah at a, at an early age, I had to have jokes. And you I, had to have and, jokes. Me too. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll fuck niggas up with jokes. 
See, you know what? You know what's funny, Ben? All the big niggas I knew would spank shit, fire shit the fuck up. So I know uh, you was one of those big niggas. That's, wait, what, what? What? What is spanking shit though? Because okay, you know, now okay, I'm, I'm over here. I'm out west. Yeah, yeah, west coast. That, that, that's that, that's shit, that. That's uh, that. Uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey shit. No, going no, on. that's spank. That spank went on your ass, man. I'm talking about like joning. You know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all call it on the west? Oh, the dozens, like the dirty y'all do dozens. The, y'all call it the dozens. We call it. Oh, jones. snapping, snapping. Yeah, don't, don't like, some, somebody call it snapping. We don't call it snapping. I don't Somebody know snapping. call it snapping. It's probably down south somewhere. We call it. We say Joan and fire your ass up. I'm spanking your ass. Yeah, I'm not saying that one. Not so saying wait, wait. So niggas out there running. I'm about to spank your ass, boy. <laughs> like, hey, Mo, I'm about to spank that ass, Mo, Mo. Bring that Mo ass over here so I can spank it. No, 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 no. You making it sexual? They be like, boy, you just got spanked, boy. Like if somebody get the oh, Joan okay. and fire shit. Find somebody up in the comments. Be like, boy, you just got your ass spanked. You know? Oh, okay. Got it. Boy, I'm about to fire it. your ass up. Boy, I'm about to cook that's your what, ass. That's what I'm saying. Because you can run up on someone. I'm about to fire your shit up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't run up on them. I'm about to spank your shit. You can't. No, you know? no, no. They don't, they don't run up on us. They, they, the spank is the after the firing comes. Oh, so oh, so, so you get fired, then the spank. Yeah, like, so if I fired you up, yeah, somebody then, be like, damn, you spanked spank. your ass. That sound like a good time. That sound like a good time? But I had to join all the time. <laughs> I had to learn how to join. You know why I had to learn how to join? Well, that sounded like a good time. It flew over my head. Yeah, it flew over you. I know. Was it sexual? <laughs> <laughs> you always on sexual shit. <clears throat> I can't say shit. No, I had to join though. Because, you know, I used to get joined on with my, my shoes. I had these Seraphinas. Remember that movie, Seraphina? Who? You don't remember hey. the movie Serafina? Freedom. Wait, what, what's the name of it? Serafina? Yeah. You movie? You remember a movie called Serafina? Serafina. Serafina. No. I don't Damn, remember Serafina. That, that shit. Remember that Serafina? shit. That shit only playing in the, in, in the mo in the Motown. We call y'all Motown from out here. Y'all, y'all that Motown. That nigga said that joint only playing in the Motown. Shout out to my nigga. Uh, uh, mo. Shout out to Stax Mo. Stax Garvey. What's the nigga name? Stax Garvey. who? Audio. Audio smoke. <laughs> Motown. Bunch of Motown. <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying to get. Hey, y'all slogan is we things. we the other Motown. We the other Motown. No. <laughs> disregard if anybody from Motown is out there listening. <laughs> disregard this nigga from the West Coast. He has no clue. <laughs> anybody uh, out there from the Mo's? Shout out to my Mo's and Mo West man. You know what I'm saying? Shout oh, out yeah. to I want to give a shout, special shout out to Big Michi. The nigga who did, I'm on the south side and I'm outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, shout out to him. <laughs> man, that him and that that car engine. That, that, mm-hmm. that guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm on this. Hey, <laughs> These niggas is funny. It's so funny. Oh, oh he oh, he from Motown. He from Motown. That's a Motown line right there. He say, he say. Hey, shout out to uh, shout out to uh, 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 Tony Bello, man. Oh, shout out to my boy Tony Bello yeah, with the Bello Tony Byron. Bello. The hot yeah, sauce that, lit. Yeah, yeah, he, he be on, man. He uh, that shit I, I be lit. following. He, 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 his page be going up. Yeah. And a nigga, and a nigga got bars. And he got bars. Clip too, that, clip that, that, as they say. In, in, clip that. That's clip, a clip that. That's a clip. That's a clip. Okay, I got to learn these lingos, man. See, cause I'm younger, so you be saying you be saying older lingo, and that it be like. First of all, like, let me tell you something. Like, I, I am I am older than you, but <laughs> that lingo is younger than both of us. Click that, click that. Clip. I live the clip that clip, clip that. that. So, see, I, see, I'm from, I'm from I'm also from the gamer world. So like so when people oh. are streaming, when people streaming and and, and the the. Uh, the if I'm streaming live and they're watching yeah. me play and I yeah. do something dope, <clears throat> I'll be like, "Yo, clip that." So that means for them to go and make it, cut it right there, splice the video, and make it they shit, or you know, make it go viral or whatever, whatever the case. But yeah, mm, or I put it up that. on Instagram. Yeah, clip. That. Oh, okay, clip that. Clip yeah. that. I'm about to include this. I feel like I've been. I, I feel like I was raised under a, a brick or something. No, that's cool. You know, I mean, you know. It's, Motown, baby. Motown. You know what I'm saying? Shout that's out to Motown. That's you know a Motown, what I'm Motown School District. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, okay, look. See, Ed, when you do that, that shit look like Sailor Moon or something. So, who so you is, remember is, Sailor Moon? Is he charging up when he do that? Yeah, so when he does this, I guess he's like, because he got a Rolex on his hand, so I guess he's like also charging his watch up as well as, you know, emphasizing the disc, because it's a disc song too. Oh, oh, he, oh, he's shitting on somebody. He, he's shitting on a, uh, a, a ex Glizzy member. Wait a minute now, time he's out. Shitting on the ex Glizzy. Now look, now I'm, I'm not clowning now. Not the ex, not the ex Glizzy like hot dog, but Shy Glizzy had the Glizzy gang, and that member got that's what, thrown out. Okay, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, is that? That's what I'm trying to see. Uh, Cause Glizzy not from out here. I mean, like no, the, he the from lingo. DC. No, the, no, not well the, the lingo. Oh, so I'm saying is that is that where it came from? Yeah, that's where it came Pause. from. It actually started because of that nigga. Pause. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone there. That's where it started. Actually, the, the word the word Glizzy is global because of the nigga shot Glizzy. I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone because I'm. I don't even want to know why. Because they say the nigga is like a shy Glizzy. No, I'm saying. <laughs> But I'm saying though, you, you a few minutes ago you said a glizzy was a, was a hot was a hot dog. It is a hot dog. That's what I'm saying. Like, which came first, the hot dog or, or, the, the, glizzy. or the glizzy or the glizzy rapper? The, the uh, glizzy rapper came first, then the hot dog. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yo, it's crazy out here. Shout out to Motown, baby. Shout out Motown. to Motown. Motown. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Power up. Power up. No, but this is a this is a great show. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, Ben. Stepping into the shade room. T T R L A. Uh oh, you done partnered up with the shade with the shade room. Look, you out here taking big steps. No, no, I'm trying to get my sponsors where I fit in. You know, what you, I'm done, saying? you you done, you, done, you done turned into a, a, a big stepper. No, 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 no. I try. Hey, I try to get hand. my sponsors. Damn, who you throw that to? What the fuck? I throw that to Nick. He ain't got no hands. Nick was looking at the wall. <laughs> uh, Raider fan. Don't worry about him. Oh, I, I, okay. Shout out to the Washingtons. To the Shout Washingtons. To the, yeah, you know I can't say Redskins and then no more. Oh yeah, the Washington team. The Washington team. That's a fucked up name. That's that's is that that's uh that's Motown team. That's Motown team. Shout out to the Motown. They should have named our team Motowns. Washington Motown. Washington Motowns, bitch. Washington Mo's. Yeah, the streets would have went crazy. The out streets would have went crazy. Washington Mo's, nigga. The Washington Mo's, and y'all would have had like the Three Stooges Mo. Look no, like Mo no, we would have had all, our mascot would have been a nigga with a uh, a North Face. With eating the glizzy, jeans, eating with, the glizzy. The, with the new blouses, with the do rag, that'd have been our, our mascot with a with a uh, glizzy, with a Glock. Oh, we also nah. called it. We also called a nine. Oh, that's a why. Glizzy too. So that's okay. Now that's what I'm saying. Okay, now. No, so really, it's the glizzy. The Glock came before the person. Okay, the yeah. Okay, so the, the gun was called the glizzy. But we started the name calling the gun the glizzy. We, now, why we did y'all start calling hot dog glizzies? Because. Because it's long, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> because it's long. <laughs> and people insert that joint like like if you. Oh gosh, I was about to make them. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. Yeah, man. Yeah. Gosh. All right. Yeah. Okay. We got it now. So a glizzy is a glock. <laughs> It's a Glock and it's a weenie. You got it. And a, a rapper. It, that's three a Glock things. Is a, a, ooh, you just put me on to something. A Glock is a glizzy, a wiener, and a rapper. There you go. Wow. That's three things. That's a trifecta. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a glizzy threesome. A glizzy threesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's sh that should look like Power Rangers. Like I'm, I'm expecting you to turn into the I'm Pink Ranger. I'm gonna have to send you. I'm gonna have to send you this, this, this video to the song. Man, you could have shared. You could have shared it live too, man. Damn, man. I could have shared it live. I was not thinking. I man. was not fucking thinking. Next time on Treetop Radio LA, I will be sharing Big Michi's. I'm on the South Side, and we live. Ain't Glizzy this. <laughs> Oh, oh, he was dissing Glizzy. He was dissing and Glizzy. Damn, how many yeah. Glizzies out there? 
it's about official glizzies it's maybe about i say about six official glizzies now how many rappers rappers is only about three glizzies no okay yeah yeah so goo glizzy three glizzy shy glizzy and shy glizzy is the mo more famous one shy glizzy is the more I, famous cause I, one. I heard of that name I, I don't i don't know his music but i heard that name before oh yeah he got the he got the uh the little uh don't feed the shocks joint coming up yeah. He's he, he a nice little artist. You got the nice little artist, you know. But he's a glizzy. He the main glizzy. Shout out to the main glizzy, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is a wonderful show. It's a wonderful show. No, nah, man, Ben, I appreciate you, brother, for coming on, blessing the show, man. Oh yeah, man. Peace to uh you and uh your new beginnings out here, man. And um, uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing and uh you, now you you don't forget to tell these motherfuckers you're a producer now. Yeah, I'm a producer now. Nigga, I got to add that. You see my list I be adding this shit to? Tell them the price today. It's not the same price as tomorrow, niggas. I'm sorry. I got to stop saying that word too. Yeah, I think it, it ain't what it was yesterday. Yeah. It ain't what it was it's yesterday. It's changing. It's changing. Can I say bitches? No. Okay. I don't it ain't, know. The you price ain't the same with it. I'm, I'm trying to ask my manager if that's okay. Yeah. The price ain't the same, bitches. All right. All right. Hey Ben, I want you to give your um your Instagram name out there. Man, it's right here at the real Ben Ready. At the real Ben Ready. At the real Ben Ready. Oh no, I said. Oh wait, I didn't even put it right. I put the. the you, put, you put at, at the, the ready, ready Ben Ready. Oh, uh, that. Hey. <laughs> Hey, follow my man at the ready, been ready. Wait, hold on. Hey, that's my man, that's, been ready, all ready. That's that, that's that gorilla glue talking. That's that gorilla. I seen you sparking up over there. Yeah, there's a little something going on over here. It's a little something, you know. Do you got um, what's your, what's your cash app? Cause ain't no nation like a donation. Uh, there we go. I just, fi I just fixed the name. Okay. At the, the real, real been. been ready. Not the ready, um, been ready. Um, and my cash app is uh. Uh, dollar sign ultimate apparel. That's A L L T U H M E N T apparel. Make sure y'all donate to my man. Make sure y'all show him love, man. Hey Ben, I really appreciate you, man, coming on the on the show, man. I hope you I enjoyed your you. time. I hope I was a wonderful uh, host and you was yeah. a great co-host. You know what I'm saying? We touched on a lot of topics, more life. In order to live, you have to want to, you know, live within you. You know what I'm saying? You have to check, check yourself. Create, you got to treat this. You know, create your own universe. Create your, ooh, create your own universe, man. And know that there's people out there dealing with the, dealing with issues, and you always have somebody to lean on. If you don't have anybody immediately connected to you, I'm always available. Y'all can always hit me up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Treetop Radio underscore. Oh wait, Treetop underscore Radio LA. And um, y'all can you know hit me up, man. Or y'all can follow my backup page, Big underscore Homie Smiles for you on backup page. The haters. Haters, man, they hating on me. Hey, it's okay. I gotta do this on your show because you, you was doing it over here. I gotta do. I gotta do the old signature. Let me do it. Okay. <clears throat> wait, wait, she got me. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Did I scream? I thought I was trying to back up. Do you see how close this mic is? No, no, I'm no. Like, that's that's no. You you done perfected it now. I done perfected it. I'm yes. talking about. I'm talking about the old school. The you, old but. school. Drive. Welcome to the streets. I'm ready. All that way. We on podcast. Hey. And Hey, cause you be like, hey, hey that, the last time, look, that's when you perfected. The last time you did it, you must have heard how loud it was, cause you got low. You was like, why the cheat? And we, what we here today, we all. I know, what? man, because I, I be hearing your voice. Hey, back up. <laughs> <laughs> I be the voice of reason. Yeah. <laughs> You're too close to the mic. I be yeah, like, huh? I, I, I try know. and turn it low so the people in, on the show can't hear. They can't hear. I can hear. It's like God talking to me. <laughs> back up. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> nah, but we had. I, I appreciate you tapping in. You know what I'm saying, man. And and whenever you want to, you know, come back on the show, you know, just let me know. You just give a nigga a little knock. It's your. It's your sh how I'm gonna tell you when I'm coming on the show? It's oh your yeah, show. that's right. Cause you're not you. It's yeah. my show now. It's your show, motherfucker. Okay. So when I'm, I'm gonna tap back, I'm gonna knock back on your door. You know what I'm saying? When I want. Pause. When I need yeah. you to. When I need you to oh wait, wait. damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm here. I didn't just, say the just, back though. I ain't gonna knock on the back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hit the inbox. The, the D, just, you, you pause. You, you have, you whoa. have my, my cell phone number. I'm gonna just call you. Just, just yeah, just that's call, that's just that's call me. That's not the Fuck all the extra call. shit. Just call Fuck me. That. Call my phone. You, you, you have my real phone number. <laughs> all right. All right, Ben, I appreciate you for tapping in with me, man. We out this bitch. Peace. Hey, that was my man, Ben Brady, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate him for tapping in all the way from Los Angeles, California, man. Hey, you know I never go a show without telling my beautiful woman that I love her. I truly appreciate you being a part of my life and helping me elevate, you know. It's nothing but up from here. And a couple that's praised together, stays together, you know what I'm saying? You know it's free motherfucking, simple to the motherfucking free, long live man. Inshallah, he'll be home soon, man. I want to thank the judge in advance for make, let, let my man come through, man. He got a touchdown for us because when he touched down, a DMV rap scene is over. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Corday. Shout out to his girlfriend. They out there doing big things. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to 41. Shout out to everybody in the DMV. Shout out to everybody listening to me. One, two, three, four, five people, whoever out there listening to me. I thank y'all. And thank you for the sponsors that I'm going to be getting in the future, man. Shout out to PJ21 Evans, man. Today is his day, Taco Tuesday. Shout out to my cousin, Meatball, man. Boy, I love you. And uh, we'll see you soon, man. Y'all enjoy. September is Suicide Prevention Month. You never know what people around you are going through. Every day I go on. But life's just not the same. I'm so empty.